we are going to design the L bracket in this tutorial. So first of all, we have to change the units. So the selected units are in millimeter. Click here, change active units and under the unit type, select the inches, press OK. Now the units are in inches. Open the sketch and this time we have to select the front plane. To draw the sketch and select the line tool and move here like that just auto track this point move here draw a line like that then a horizontal line then a vertical line horizontal line vertical line and then just auto track this point so we can close the sketch on this point so this is the base sketch and then select to deactivate the line tool now we have to specify the dimensions we automatically added the constraints and now we define the dimension so this length this dimension is 4.5 and then height select this line and this is 2.5 okay now we needed to define the height of this line it's 0 0.75 and same way this is also 0 0.75 so we just define the dimension for these two but this dimension and these two dimension are same equal we can also define the equal constraint between them so select the equal constraint select this line and this line and it will define the equal constraint meaning this line and this line has the same dimension the equal dimension no all the lines are black that means the sketch is fully defined we are not able to add an other dimension so finish the sketching click here on home to have the isometric view zoom out click the extrude tool and under the properties define the profile for the profile select this area of the profile and this arrow appear if we drag it we are adding the extrude material and here on this distance we have to specify this depth so it's three so this is the base feature now we needed to uh, make a cut and remove material here so select extrude select create sketch and we can open the sketch on this face we can draw the sketch by using the two point rectangle select this tool then draw a line a rectangle like that now define the dimension so select this line and this edge and this dimension is 0 0.5 and this line it has the dimension of 2 this one is 1.5 and then select the circle tool and define a circle here we can make this in two steps or we can also do it in one step so i am doing it in one step so this circle it has the diameter of 0 0.75 and now define the position dimension of this circle so from this center point to this line it has the dimension of 1.5 and from this edge to this center point it has the dimension of 2.67 2.67 and then finish the sketching now click home to have the isometric view select extrude and under the profile select this area and this area so now the arrow is in this direction but basically we want to remove the material so we just drag it in the other direction and here you can see abrasion it it is cut so it's cutting the material and for the extent type we can select the all so it will remove the material through all to this design click ok now we have to create the sketch and this time we are going to select this face to remove the material so select the line tool and draw a line at this point then again line and like that so we draw a rectangle then dimension this sketch so from this point to this point this has the dimension of 2 inches and this select this line it has the dimension of one inches 
finish the sketching and then extrude tool under the profile select this profile we want to make the cut same way we have to change the arrow in the other direction because we want to remove the material and as you move it in the other direction the operation will be changed to cut and for the extract type select all press ok it removed the material so our l bracket design is done thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel